the core part of our new announcement due to Airshow are all the autonomous drones that you see around, whether they're tube launched or logistics drones or surveillance drones or all sorts of drones. So autonomous is quite large for us this year, plus some of our new missile programs or electronic warfare products. But 13 new products for this, uh, for this event. Autonomous in, in general is a growing segment. And I think whether you're referring to autonomous logistics drones like the QX6, uh, or whether you're referring to surveillance uh, drones, or whether you're referring to loitering ammunition, the autonomous uh, segment in, in large is growing uh, from an addressable market point of view. We see UAE armed forces and all armies around the world really starting to adopt more autonomous than just manned units in this regard, and hence our focus on it. And is this mainly for the domestic market, or do you see opportunity to export this technology and these new capabilities internationally? No, definitely we're looking to export them internationally. I mean, last year, uh, or this year, following uh, IDEX, when we announced few of our autonomous drones, although we can't announce the sales because the customers didn't announce, but we already made over two international sales of our drones in this regard. So we see a demand, we see a need in such platforms, and we are really catering for such a need. What's the opportunity for the UAE, and can this country be a leader when it comes to weapon sales? Absolutely. I think, one, having an armed forces that is technologically advanced, that's always using the latest products, the latest solutions, creates for a great environment for an industry like us to be collaborating with them, fine-tuning our products, improving our products, and getting the feedback from the armed forces that's really pushing the limit on these products. And I think you could see it in the last two years since the launch of Edge, the amount of, pro we've launched 20 products, we have another 40 plus products under development. And I think we want to be able to take a key leading position, not just in the GCC or the Middle East, but really in the zone that we are in, which is in the Middle East and Africa zone. You've also indicated recently that you'd like to be part of the F-35 supply chain if and when this deal comes to fruition. What capabilities could you provide specifically? I guess that needs a, a more detailed workshop with the platform provider and our armed forces to see where are the needs that they have and what are the, some of the sovereign capabilities that they want to maintain. And we'll take it from there. I mean, we have a various amount of products or solutions that we could do from basic weapon integrations in that regard that we need to do to other subsystems. But I guess it depends on finally what our Air Force really requires.